We all know how it is when FPS suddenly drops. It's depressing, like. Bro, FPS sucks. Bro, like 10 FPS is the highest we go. God, please, no! 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 In the recent weeks, I've been working and studying the laws of FPS and found a cure. The cure doesn't work for Android though. Y'all down bad, like for real, bro. Go get it, you fun. <laughs> Just joking, y'all. Funny thing is, I also use an Android, and this kill boosted my FPS to like crazy numbers. But before this video starts, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel, as that really helps me. Also, a huge shout out to my boy Rahi07. Hope you get well soon, bro. So first up, go to your settings, press the video bar and switch off fancy graphics and beautiful skies. The most important one is the render distance, set it to the lowest as possible, that should significantly boost your FPS. If, I, if it ain't do none, I still got you. Go back to your video settings tab and switch off the smooth lighting. This will kill the quality of your game but it's better than lagging bro. But if you're still lagging, then you're down bad. <laughs> but do not worry, I got you. So here I got 5 identical worlds. What are they all about? Each world got a different FPS boost texture pack which changes in-game visuals like particles and other stuff. Stick through and I guarantee you high frame rates. I don't, re I don't really like comparing people's work, so I'll let you decide which one was the best. First is Optimizer Plus. It reduces visual effects and fire particles. Some blocks have old textures which also slightly boost FPS. With a higher render distance, it will strain the device and become slow, as recording gameplay also takes a toll on FPS. Second is the FPS Climb Pack. This, as you can see, changes the blocks' textures to one by one, making it look plastic yet unique. The game will undoubtedly run faster on most devices, especially as some particles are disabled.
The higher end of distance makes it slower, but it's still playable. By the way, mind subscribing, it'll help my channel very much and I'll appreciate it like 100% FPS. See what I did there? <laughs> Third texture pack is FPS Disabler. It disables particle effects and this changes the gameplay slightly. Combined with the 1x1 texture pack, you think you are playing on a supercomputer. Render Distance takes a stroll on it though, to be honest it's the one I mostly use. I'm sure you've had this name somewhere before. The fourth being Bedrock Timize is one of the most popular FPS boost clients on Minecraft Pocket Edition and I think it's pretty good. It has much more simpler and cooler UI and new options you can choose from. If you own servers, this might come in handy as it also comes with the tab key on the open chat menu making typing easier.
not gonna lie, but it does lag really bad on touch jumps for a 2 gig RAM phone. Lost Texture Pack is base PvP pack. It's meant for player versus player battles but also acts as an FPS boost client by disabling specific textures and re-adding re new ones. You can also use textures from previous versions of Minecraft with this pack which makes gameplay more fast. Tough Chunks is playable, but don't expect a lag-free experience in service. Yeah, you've reached the extras. The extras is a new channel update where I showcase mods and or add-ons that make your gameplay better but aren't really necessary. In this case, it's the one by one texture pack and two shaders called Spectrum sh Shader and HTRE Shader. Thanks for reaching the end of this video. Man, I really appreciate your support recently with views and <laughs> all that, man. I honestly am. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit this with a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If your FPS ain't boosted by now, you probably need to fix your phone setting. And that will be another video for another time. So, um, yeah, bye.